Ben Hogan Golf Swing. We're able to look at this from a 3D standpoint now with this fabulous app from Sportsbox AI. And let's look at this. I wanted to look at how much he really loads his right arm on the downswing, the famous position of, we'll take him to there, of this downswing delivery right here. Right arm really tucked into his body and right wrist back club back so i wanted to look at that that's kind of the delivery position the famous ben hogan delivery and i'm going how much is because of the way his arms are working how much is because of the way his body's working so look at it and i'll go okay well let's look at the width of his swing we can kind of get an estimation of from the centers, this is stick figure using the AI from here to here. So we can use this and get an estimation. That's the width of his backswing, mid hands path from the center. And now we go, okay, what's the downswing look like? So we will look at that and we'll go downswing which come into about that same point. Okay, so now we look at the downswing. Same thing, we'll go from here to there. And we're going, okay, so we've got one box for the width of the backswing, one box for the width of the downswing. What's the difference between the two? And we can take this and overlay them and go, there is a difference, but it's pretty small. So most of the difference is actually in how his body's moving. If we go back to the wide part of the backswing right here, we'll look at it and we go chest 1.8 inches away, pelvis, you know, close to an inch, and then come back down to that same area here and we're going pelvis five chest three and a half so he's moved like you know five to six inches with his body laterally sway that's a horizontal movement so we're looking at that going most of this difference between this backswing position that looks extremely wide and this downswing position that looks extremely narrow and it looks like his right arm is doing all of that is really mainly because of how his body's moving from this point right here it, he's moving left upper body and lower body moving to the target and that is the majority of this look right here the wrist which is pretty incredible just continue to set as he begins to move his body you can see the body moving back to the target from this point and it's measured and as that happens his wrist keeps setting and now when he comes down the wrists are still staying in that position but really he's not pulling his arms down just moving his body and then when he begins to unwind now everything straightens out through so pretty cool look at ben hogan's golf swing